Growing taller at any age is possible, even if your growth plate is closed. But how? The answer is simple, by using Wolf's Law. Wolf's Law states that your bone will change itself to handle the stress you apply to it. Take Devin Letts, a real-life example. This arm is longer. You see that? It's a little bit longer. Two years of only training my right hand. He has unknowingly used Wolf's Law. He mentioned that his right arm is longer and bigger than his left arm because he primarily works out his right arm, and in the process, it has become stronger and also increased in length. This clearly shows that bone length and density can be increased, depending on certain types of stress and exercise, and you don't even need growth plates to be opened. But, if bone length can be increased by just exercising, then why aren't all bodybuilders six feet tall? Shouldn't they be tall since they work out regularly and eat a healthy diet? The answer lies in the type of workout and stress they put on their bones, and most importantly, the type of hormones they focus on. Their workouts mainly focus on increasing bone density to make bones stronger so they can lift heavy weights, and they only focus on testosterone hormone whereas growth hormone is also very important for increasing height. So, in this video, I will teach you all about the workouts, exercises, techniques, the hormones, and the perfect diet to increase your height. So, don't ducking skip the video. You already know the story of Devin Larratt, whose one arm is longer than the other. You probably also know about leg lengthening surgery, where surgeons insert steel rods into the bones and stretch them regularly, helping people increase their height by over 5 to 6 inches. We will use similar techniques to increase our height. But how, you may ask? The answer is simple. Microfractures. When our bones get microfractured, or they heal themselves to be stronger and even longer, depending on the stress and routine followed. You may have noticed the knuckles of fighters are bigger and stronger than those of the average person. This is because they repetitively work out with their knuckles through exercises like knuckle push-ups, punching bags, and hitting others' bones which cause microfractures in their bones. These microfractures heal to withstand the stress, following Wolf's Law. However, their knuckles won't grow longer like Wolverines, but rather stronger and wider. That's because the stress they apply compresses the bone rather than stretching it after microfracturing. In simple terms, you need to first create microfractures in your bone and then stretch them so they can grow vertically rather than horizontally. Here are three workouts that causes microfractures in your bones, and then I will teach you the best stretches to increase your bone length. Sports. Sports like basketball, volleyball, and football are the best for increasing your height. Because you are frequently running, which increases growth hormone, you also attempt to dunk to score and jump to stop, which places stress on your legs, causing microfractures in your bones. So, in simple terms, you will be boosting your growth hormone while applying microfractures to your bones to increase their length. Jumps. Jumps are the best way to cause microfractures in your bones. I do these after my workouts every day, which, after healing, grow back bigger and longer. Cycling. As I mentioned in a previous video, cycling is highly beneficial for increasing your height. Cycling not only sticks to the principles of microfracture and Wolf's Law, but also promotes bone remodeling. When you cycle with the seat set higher to stretch your legs, your leg bones gradually increase in length over time as they remodel to support the activity. This process is similar to the theory that giraffes' necks are longer because they needed to reach leaves high in the trees. Over time, their bones remodeled themselves to help them survive. Now you know the three best workouts for causing microfractures in your bones jumping, sports, and cycling. However, just doing these exercises alone won't increase your height. To achieve the best results, you need to combine these activities with stretching. If you only do these workouts and then immediately doing other exercises like squats, your bones will compress and grow wider instead of longer. Here is the only stretch you'll ever need to increase your bone length after creating microfractures. Ankle stretching. After you have created microfractures in your bones through the mentioned workouts, attach ankle weights to your legs and hang them off the bed while lying down. This stretch the bones rather than compressing them. Use the ankle weights for around 30 to 60 minutes and then go to sleep because you don't want to compress your bones. This is also the reason why I suggested doing these workouts at night. So you can come home, attach the weights, and go to sleep. You may be confused about which workouts and stretches to do for the best results. For optimal benefits, perform any one of the above. Work out six times a week. Okay, now you understand Wolf's Law and bone remodeling for increasing bone length and you might be excited that you can finally increase your height with these workouts and stretches. However, without the next factor, no matter how many microfractures you create or how much you stretch, your bones won't grow longer. The next element is growth hormone might have heard that growth hormone is important for increasing your height. However, growth hormone itself is not what increases our height. The hormone responsible for height is IGF-1. Growth hormone, after being released by the pituitary gland, travels to the liver and is then synthesized into IGF-1. In simple terms, we need growth hormone to be released so that it can synthesize into IGF-1, which will help increase our height. But how do we do it effectively, ensuring we don't disrupt our hormones and increase our height efficiently? You need to follow these steps and watch my previous video, where I explain in detail how to increase your growth hormone. Adequate sleep. 
ensure you get 8 or 9 hours of uninterrupted sleep each night. Growth hormone is primarily released during deep sleep. Hydration. Stay hydrated with both water and salt-based hydration solutions to support overall hormone function. Exercise. Engage in regular weightlifting and high-intensity interval training. These exercises stimulate the release of growth hormone. I have already provided the best workouts in my previous video. Sunlight. Get plenty of sunlight to boost vitamin D levels, as it is essential for hormone synthesis. Minerals and vitamins. Intake of minerals and vitamins, especially zinc, vitamin D3, and vitamin C, are crucial for growth hormone production. Now it's time to increase your testosterone levels, as it is one of the most important hormones in your body. And you don't need to buy any course. Just download the free ebook from the description, where I explain the best natural ways to increase your testosterone. It's completely free. Now you know five of the best ways to boost growth hormone, IGF-1 and testosterone. So is this all it takes to increase height? Is that it? The answer is no. Did you know that North and South Koreans have almost the same genetics, yet South Koreans are taller? The main reason is diet. North Koreans lack proper nutrition due to food shortages, whereas South Koreans have access to nutritious diets, contributing to their increased height. So here comes the chapter on the perfect diet, which is crucial because it supports both wolf law and hormonal balance. Without proper nutrition, your hormonal balance will be disrupted, and your bones will not only become weaker, but you will also face other issues like lack of muscle gain, acne pimples, hair loss, and more. For fuck's sake, diet is important. Number 1. Boron. Boron, found in dried fruits such as chestnuts, raisins, prunes, and dried cranberries, plays a crucial role in growth. Studies show that consuming dried fruits high in boron can potentially increase your height by 2 to 3 inches. These dried fruits are packed with essential vitamins and minerals, such as vitamin A, vitamin K, iron, calcium, magnesium. These nutrients are vital for bone health and overall growth. Therefore, incorporating dried fruits into your diet can support your growth and help maintain strong, healthy bones. Number 2. Meats. Meat is extremely important to increase your growth hormone and testosterone as it contains good amino acids. Therefore, you need to consume meat in high amounts. However, you can't just eat chicken legs and assume you are getting sufficient protein and nutrients. It's important to eat red meat and organ meats as they are very nutrient-dense. Some examples include liver, heart, and kidneys. The best sources are lamb or mutton, pork, fish eggs, and chicken. Number 3. Carbs. Carbohydrates give us the energy to move around and perform daily activities. It's important to consume healthy carbs and avoid unhealthy options like pizza and burgers, even though they contain carbs. Instead, you can eat foods like rice, beans, lentils, potatoes, corn, peas, other green vegetables. Including these in your daily diet ensures you get the necessary energy while maintaining overall health. Bonus advice. Increase your height by fixing your posture. If you want to increase your height by 2 to 3 inches within a week, focus on fixing your posture. Your spine is most likely compressed. For instance, Astronauts experience an increase in height of around 2 to 3 inches in space due to spinal decompression. You can fix your posture by doing the following workouts. For your back, do these. Hanging. Exercise. Hang for 30 to 45 seconds, repeating it around 7 to 13 times with a 10 to 30 second rest in between. Pull-ups. Do 100 pull-ups with different variations. Close grip, wide grip. Take a 30-45 second rest between each set. Aim for one set of 15 to 20 reps for each variation, but this much will not be enough. You also need to fix your neck posture, which often looks like a geek from too much sitting at a desk or looking at screens. For your neck, do exercises that strengthen it, such as neck bridges. These are the best workouts that you can do at home or anywhere. Just make sure the floor isn't concrete and use some cushioning to avoid harming your head. Perform 3 to 4 sets, holding each for 20 to 30 seconds. This exercise is especially good for those who sit at a desk all day using laptops. Neck curls. Neck curls are just as effective and useful as neck bridges. Do 3 to 4 sets of 12 to 15 reps, with 60 seconds of rest between each set. This workout specifically targets the front neck muscles, helping to develop a thicker neck. I will make a full video on fixing your posture and spinal decompression if this video video receives over 500 comments. Wish you luck in your self-improvement journey.